Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, August 13. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week 6 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 33 and Judges 16 verse 1 through 14. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Rejoice in God most high, O oh, you righteous. Hallelujah. Psalm 33. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah. Rejoice in God most high, O oh, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praise. Praise the Most High with the harp. Sing to God with the psaltery and the lyre. Sing to God a new song and play skillfully. Make a loud noise. For the word of the Most High is right, and all God's works are done in truth. You love righteousness and justice. The earth is full of your goodness. By your word the heavens were made, and all the heavenly hosts by your breath. And you pile the waters of the ocean in a heap and store up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear you. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe. For you spoke and it was done. You commanded and it stood fast. You bring the plots of the heathen to naught and you thwart the designs of the people. Your will stands forever, the thoughts of your heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation who calls you God, and blessed are they whom you have chosen. You look down from heaven, and behold the children of the earth. From the place of your habitation you look upon all the inhabitants of the world. And you fashion their hearts alike, and you consider all their works. There is no ruler that can be saved by an army. A mighty warrior is not delivered by strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. <clears throat> a horse cannot save anyone by its great strength. Behold, your eyes are upon them that fear you, upon them that hope and your mercy, to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in times of famine. Our souls wait for you, for you are our help and shield. For our hearts rejoice in you, because we have trusted in your holy name. Let your mercy, O beloved God, be upon us as we place all our hope in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoice in God most high, O you righteous. Hallelujah. A reading from the book of Judges, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1, Samson and Delilah. Now once Samson went to Gaza, where he saw a prostitute, and he went in to her. And the Gazites were told, Samson has come here. So they circled around and lay in wait for him all night at the city gate. They kept quiet all night, thinking, let us wait until the light of the morning and then we will kill him. But Samson lay only until midnight, and then at midnight he rose up. He took hold of the doors of the city gate and the two posts, and he pulled them up, bar and all, and put them on his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that is in front of Hebron. After this he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The lords of the Philistines came to her and said to her, Coax him, find out what makes his strength so great and how we may overpower him, so that we may bind him in order to subdue him, and we will each give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. 
So Delilah said to Samson, please tell me what makes your strength so great and how you could be bound so that no one could subdue you. Samson said to her, if they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings that are not dried out, then I shall become weak and be like everyone else. Then the lords of the Philistines brought her seven fresh bowstrings that had not dried out. She bound him with them. And while the men were laying in wait in an inner chamber, she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he snapped the bowstrings, as a strand of fiber snaps, when it touches the fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, You have mocked me and told me lies. Please tell me how you could be bound. And he said to her, If they bind me with new ropes that have not been used, then I shall become weak and be like everyone else. So Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them and said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. The men lying in wait were in an inner chamber, but he snapped the ropes off his arms like a thread. Then Delilah said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me how you could be bound. And he said to her, If you weave the seven locks of my head, with the web and make it a tight and make it tight with the pin, then I shall become weak and be like everyone else. And so while he slept, Delilah took the seven locks of his head and wove them into the web and made them tight with the pin. Then she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson, but he awoke from his sleep and he pulled away the pin, the loom, and the web. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Look down from your heaven, O beloved God, and have mercy on us, your humble servants. For you are our help and shield, and we place all our hope in your tender mercies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.